Luxury and prison are two words you'd normally never hear in the same sentence. But by the time we're done looking at this prison, you'd have another entry on your long list of reasons you want to move to Norway. What is Bastoy? You might have already heard about Bastoy. Over the last few decades, it's gained popularity for being the sort of prison that doesn't lean too hard on the draconian practices of most prisons, but goes for a more prisoners or humans too approach. Located 75 kilometers south of Oslo, in Norway, this minimum security prison holds about 100 male inmates and is located on Bastoy Island in the middle of the Oslo Ford. Much like Alcatraz, escaping from this island prison is a pretty difficult endeavor. Only one escape attempt has ever been recorded. But then again, maybe the inmates simply just don't want to leave. Bastoy Prison has been called the most liberal prison on Earth, even winning an award for promoting human values and tolerance. But this place hasn't always been the prison resort it is today. Bastoy was once occupied by a juvenile detention center known as the Bastoy Boys Home. It was established in the year 1900 and was an infamous, brutal reformatory, the kind of place your parents would tell you about as a kid to keep you in line. Unlike the horseback riding and skiing you get in Bastoy these days, early 20th century Bastoy was a cold, cruel place. Conditions were so bad, it led to an insurrection that had to be put down by the Norwegian military. Dramatic, bloody, and monumental. So you know they had to make it into a movie. A darn good one, too. What's so luxurious about Bastoy? These days, inmates on the island get to enjoy all sorts of amenities. For one, instead of living in tiny cells slightly larger than your average cubicle, they live in small cottages. And instead of getting to see the sun maybe once every few days, inmates here get the chance to sunbathe and fish in their leisure time. Thanks to Bestoy's rather unique way of handling prisoners, it's gone from being called blood-curdling names like Devil Island to a holiday camp for prisoners. A very apt name, if I do say so myself. Being an inmate at Bastoy means you get the chance chance to learn and develop all sorts of skills. There are cooking and woodworking classes available in the prison, a spacious library, and a farm for the prisoners to work on. Bastoy Prison is all about helping prisoners develop useful skills that'll help them avoid landing in a much worse prison. I mean, the prison even offers music lessons, so you might go in there a low life, and after a short prison sentence, you'd be out singing R&B. Inmate cells aren't the cold, unforgiving places you might find in regular prisons. Like I mentioned earlier, not only do inmates live in small cottages. They also hold the keys to their rooms, so they can come and go as they please. Their rooms are more akin to a dormitory than a place meant to make violent criminals suffer. Inmates get to have lots of private belongings. Cottages come with a mini fridge, a flat screen television set, and they even get their own personal showers. So no shower time shank sessions here. Recreation is an important part of every prison experience. You do have to keep fit after all. And when lots of people get bored and frustrated in confined space, one or two riots might happen. But even when it comes to recreation, Bastoy knocks it out of the park. Inmates in this prison get access to tennis courts. They can go horseback riding. Also, it's Norway, so they get to go skiing as well. Inmates come together to organize football matches, and they even go rock climbing. Yet ironically, nobody is trying to climb their way out of this prison. It's just that comfortable to be imprisoned here, and Bastoy doesn't even bother with fences to begin with. And if music is your idea of recreation, Bastoy still has you covered. It's the only prison in the world that comes with a fully equipped recording studio. So if you're a starving artist trying to choose between rent and releasing your next hit single, maybe you commit a crime and hope you end up in Bastoy. Dang, I think I'm about to commit some Norwegian crimes. It's not all play, though. Inmates at Bastoy have to fulfill certain roles on the island as part of their sentences. Some work with the animals, rearing the livestock and feeding the horses. Others work as chefs in the kitchen. It's like a small town on Bastoy Island. There are carpenters, grocery store managers, and engineers, all positions occupied by inmates. And after a long day of work, they get the chance to relax in a sauna. Imprisonment doesn't get better than this. Why don't inmates just leave? Obviously, Bastoy is the very definition of a minimum security prison. Inmates are basically allowed to go about their days as they wish. There are no barbed wires or fences. Inmates are only required to check in with the guards a few times a day and return to their cottages for nighttime. And by then, only five guards are left to watch over the many inmates. So why do inmates even stay at all? Well, there are a couple of reasons. Even though, like most prisons, Bastoy does still limit your freedom. It's not nearly as harsh as the maximum security prison you'd be thrown into 
when they catch you trying to escape. Now, I'm no escaped inmate, but I'm pretty sure if I had to pick between Bastoy and literally any other detention center on Earth, the choice is pretty obvious. There's also the fact that Bastoy is only a ferry away from the mainland, so prisoners are able to routinely receive visits from friends and family, ensuring that at least some prisoners aren't completely cut off from society. And to top it all off, if an inmate is within 18 months of his release, he's offered the chance to get a job off the island, as long as he returns to the island every night of his own accord that is. I mean, at that point, you're just living in a small island community, surrounded by people that have committed rather heinous crimes. But hey, you take what you can get. Is Bastoy the most luxurious prison ever? With the immense amount of praise heaped on this island prison, I'm sure you're probably thinking, is Bastoy actually the most luxurious prison to ever exist? I mean, humankind's record for handling prisoners has been a straight D- minus for thousands of years now. Is Bastoy really that outstanding? Well. You might have heard about prisons around the world with a more progressive approach towards rehabilitation, seen pictures of prison cells that look like dormitories, or prisoners having a flash mob, and not the stabby kind. Maybe you've heard about Justice Center Lieben in Austria, with its basketball court, its floor-to-ceiling windows, and its general, non-repressive atmosphere. Or maybe you've heard about Kronoberg Roman Prison in Sweden, where ASAP Rocky spent three weeks, with its professionally cleaned rooms, TV screens, and three square meals. In my opinion, none of these prisons hold a torch to the level of comfort Bastoy has to offer. Even still, it's still arguable whether or not Bastoy is the most luxurious prison on Earth. But if there's one thing I can say for sure, it's that Bastoy is most definitely not the most luxurious prison to ever exist. No, that honor goes to drug lord Pablo Escobar's La Catedral. Back when Pablo Escobar was alive, he never wanted to wind up in prison. He knew for a fact that if he got arrested, he wasn't going to find himself in a prison with horseback riding and saunas. So he used his immense wealth and influence to convince the local authorities to allow him to build his own prison. And remember, this is Pablo Escobar we're talking about, a billionaire drug lord that had so much money. He built several massive properties and even burnt money just so he could keep his daughter warm. So, of course, this wasn't your typical government-sanctioned self-built prison. Unlike your regular prisons, this one wasn't built to keep anyone in, but to keep Pablo's enemies out. It was constructed on a foggy mountainside to prevent any attacks by air, and was guarded by men Pablo specifically picked. If you think Bastoy is luxurious, trust me, it doesn't hold a candle to Hotel Escobar, the only five-star prison ever constructed. It had extremely well-furnished rooms, where he would routinely invite guests to sleep over in. Plus, it was filled with every modern convenience Pablo could imagine. It had a spa, a football field, and that one thing no prison should ever be without, a casino. It does get pretty boring in prison, after all. Bastoy is pretty comfortable and downright luxurious at times. But ask any prisoner if they would rather stay at Hotel Escobar instead. And, well, who wouldn't rather stay on a mountainside fortress built just for you? Bastoy might still be a controversial topic. Not many people think people convicted of committing heinous crimes should get the summer camp treatment. But I certainly think this is a much needed step forward every prison should adopt. And I'm not just saying that because I might find myself on the wrong side of the law. And I don't even live in Norway. So what do you think about Bastoy? Is this your dream prison? What crimes would you commit to get in here? Please, let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, do leave us a like.